Hey guys, so for this week's video, I'm going to do something a little bit different. It's going to be a recommendation video, but not about books. I'm actually going to recommend an author to you. So the author I'm going to recommend to you is L.J. Smith. I pick L.J. Smith because I'm a huge fan of her books. Um, and why not? <laughs> I'm going to talk about an author. I feel like I should pick somebody that I actually enjoy reading their uh, their books. So L.J. Smith is a, is a best-selling YA author. She writes a lot of, most of her books are mainly YA and they deal with like um, romance or fantasy or horror and a lot of them feature like supernatural creatures like werewolves and shapeshifters and vampires um, and witches. Um, yeah, so those kind of things. So if you are into those types of books, then you should consider her as an author um, when you're looking for books if you don't know. So I first fell in love with her writing um, after reading The Vampire Diaries and I became instantly hooked and read all her other books, <laughs> um, all of the books I could find from her. Um, a lot of them I read on my, my iPod at the time so I don't actually have a lot of her physical copies. Yeah, so I just fell in love with her characters, her world building. Um, and I am a sucker for reading stuff about vampires and witches and um, yeah, supernatural creatures so obviously she was a good fit for me. I'm just going to talk about some of the books that I've read of hers um, that are a series. Just in case you didn't know, then I'm letting you know about them and you will maybe be interested in reading them. So I'm going to start off obviously with The Vampire Diaries because I mentioned that being the first book that introduced me into um, finding her as a writer and um, yeah The Vampire Diaries is a YA book about vampires it deals with the main character's name is Elena Gilbert she's in high school and her life changes pretty much yeah this change after she meets brothers uh, Stefan Salvatore and Damon Salvatore and meeting them shifts her normal world because they kind of bring in all the supernatural stuff into her life that she didn't have. So um, with the Vampire Diaries, I read up until the end of the Nightfall series um, because that is up to the point that uh, L.J. Smith finished writing the series. Well, she didn't finish it. She kind of got uh, let go from writing the series. So um, the series that come after that, I think uh, there's two of them. I don't know if it's like the hunters or something I don't remember but um, they're written by ghostwriters um, they have her name on the on the books but they're actually ghostwriters that wrote it and I didn't read those specifically because I believe in supporting the author's vision and someone completely different is not gonna know what um, I don't know I don't feel like they would be able to do the series justice because the author that started it obviously is the one that knows what was going to happen with those characters and you know made all these things up so I just I, I didn't <laughs> I didn't finish the series but um what's cool though is that um she has I guess teamed up you could say with Amazon and um Amazon has this thing now where writers can uh sell their like fan fiction. She decided that she was going to uh, finish up her vision for the Vampire Diaries as fan fiction um, on Amazon. So if you are a fan of hers and like a purist or whatever you wanted to kind of see like what she wanted it to be then you can check that out on Amazon um, or if not you can just read the whole series if you don't really care. So the series was turned into a TV show called The Vampire Diaries on the CW and the show at first was a little bit similar to the books but actually it's completely different I don't think I mean I don't know if the new books are similar to the show but from her the books that she wrote they're different they're completely different so another book series that I have is another uh, book series of hers that was picked up by the CW by the CW which is The Secret Circle um, and it was picked up but it was cancelled uh, 
but I'm sure you could still find some place to see it. Um, it's another book series, again, where they brought in a ghostwriter after she wrote the first three. So I only read up to the first three. <laughs> so the series is a YA book, again, uh, it deals with like romance and witches. The main theme is witches in the books. And um, it has to do with 12 witches that form a coven and are called their coven is called the secret circle and um they're all teenage <laughs> kids so there's obviously stuff about high school and friends and love and boyfriends and girlfriends and all that stuff um but it's really unique i think i don't know there are certain like parts of some of her books that i just like it sticks in my head um and it is different to the to the show again so if you were a fan of the show, um, if you end up reading the books, they're not exactly the same, just in case, you know, I'm letting you know. Um, but the series is really good. The next series I'm going to mention is The Forbidden Game. It's a fantasy trilogy. Uh, yeah, I love The Forbidden Game. I feel like it's one of those books that they don't really talk that much about. Like once this, like the other two that I mentioned, they had shows, so people were more exposed to it. But the next two that I'm going to talk about or next three <laughs> I'm gonna talk about I don't really hear many people talking about it so I said talk a lot and so the forbidden game is uh, a trilogy like I mentioned and the main character name is Jenny Jenny ends up her boyfriend's 17th birthday and she picks up this board game at um, a place in like a seedy part of town um, to, and during her boyfriend's birthday party, um, her and her friends decide to play the game that she bought. And um, once they start to play the game, things start happening and they are... I don't, I don't know if it's a spoiler if I tell you this. I don't really want to tell too much about it. But basically, once they start playing the game, things start getting real. <laughs> And, um, yeah, they have to find a way to finish playing or just get rid of it or something. Um, yes, yeah, so it's like three books and it's just, it's really cool. I don't know, I just think that the concept of it is really different. It's, I guess, in a sense, it's like Jumanji-ish because you have a board game that kind of, uh, does things, but it's... A bit different is not exactly like Jumanji. Jumanji had like a lot of elements to that and I would never want to play that. Um, but yeah, about that series, I just like... Ugh. I'm just going to say one name because like I love Julian. That's all I'm going to say. I love Julian. That's what I think about. Like, I think of, When I think about that book series, I'm like Julian. Um, yeah. The next book series I'm going to mention from written by LJ Smith is Dark Visions uh, series. Which is another YA trilogy, and um, the main character is called Caitlin Fairchild. She's a psychic who is recruited to take part in a psychic research um, facility called Zietz, uh, Zietz Institute. And when she's there, she finds she meets other people that are like her. There are four others that are like her, but they all have like their own kind of powers. And um, once they're there, uh, the group figure out that the institute isn't exactly what the it's original what they originally thought it was. Um, so yeah, think of institute, kids with powers. Obviously, things are not going right. <laughs> um, I don't know. Reading it, I read it so long ago, but sometimes it reminds me of like Race to Witch Mountain. Or something like that I don't know okay so the last book series that I am going to mention by LJ Smith not the last that she wrote but just the last one I'm mentioning <laughs> is the night world series and I love the night world series it's so good <laughs> it's another one of her uh, the YA fantasy books but it has like um, romance romance is a big theme in those books and I guess some horror. Um, but yeah, you have creatures, supernatural creatures like werewolves and vampires and witches and angels and shapeshifters and just 
a whole bunch of stuff. There's nine books in the series, but she's apparently coming out with a tenth. Um, a lot of the series that I mentioned, she wants to, I guess, uh, write other books for them. But um, so far, there's only nine in the series. Uh, features, the main thing is that they're all supernatural races, supernatural beings that live in the human world without humans knowing that they're there. And they are all part of a secret society called the Night World. And the there's two rules when it comes to the Night World. It's first rule is that humans aren't supposed to know that the Night World exists. And the second one is that um, those within the Night World aren't allowed to fall in love with humans. So uh, the first couple books deals with um, each book is like a different character. And um, the main theme within, I think, the first six books is the soulmate principle. And um, so it's more like romance and stuff. And then the later books uh, deal with all of them having to deal with impending doom. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so those are some of LJ Smith's um, series. Um, but those aren't all the things she's written. She's also written the Wild World series, short stories, and I feel out of breath, <laughs> and omnibuses. Um, yeah, so you can find them like on her website, which I'll list below. Um, and I also will list the her Amazon uh, book area thing, sorry. And um, I'll list all the book series that I mentioned and where you can find them. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys like this type of video where I talk about like an author and I just recommend books from that author. Um, yeah, so if you want to see more videos like this where I'll feature an author that I like and mention some of their books, um, let me know in the comment section below and I will put all the links like I mentioned below underneath the video, the description bar, <laughs> in the description bar below. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys next week for a new video. Uh, bye!